our last talk is by Dr. Machen, who is from the Citadel, our own Dr. Machen. Um, her uh, title is Eigenpairs of Adjacency Matrices of Balanced Assigned Graphs. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, give a, a, a talk on the eigenpairs of uh, adjacency matrices of balanced assigned graphs. This is a joint work with uh, Dr. Kerr. Um, he uh, just retired in the uh, past summer. That's a first young man. So I will start with the start with the, just to talk a little bit about balance. What what is it, the a sign graph? We call it on the sign graph. But what are, are the balanced sign graph? And then we will look at the uh, what are the adjacency uh, matrices of uh, uh, balanced sign graphs? And then we look at eigenvalues. They are corresponding uh, eigenvectors. So uh, first, let's just look at uh, <coughs> the sign graph. What that means, the graph. We here we talk about uh, undirected uh, graphs, so no direction. Um, so the sign that we just put a plus or uh, minus on the uh, edge uh, between, say, two nodes. <coughs> and uh, uh, balance the sign graph is uh, for each cycle, uh, the number of uh, uh, negative sign are even. So if we put a, a 1 for positive sign, minus one for a negative sign, then the, the multiplication or the, the, uh, the values assigned to each age uh, is always a positive. Then that graph is called a, a balanced sign. Okay, so I made a, a simple uh, example here. Okay, so if you look at this one, uh, you have uh, uh, two negative. And uh, for this uh, cycle, we have a two negative, and uh, so it is uh, <coughs> So this is a uh, uh, balanced sum graph. Now, usually we know, uh, we all know, it's not easy to find uh, uh, the eigenvalues uh, of uh, uh, a matrix, uh, say, say uh, uh, three by three, even, right? Uh, a matrix. So unless the matrix matrix has a, a special structure. So this is, a, this is a, the, uh, the adjacency matrix for uh, a balanced sign graph has a very nice uh, structure. Because of that, uh, we are able to uh, solve the eigenvalues exactly. Uh, so the, the, the structure actually based on the uh, Harari's uh, <coughs> theorem. What it says is a, a balanced sign graph. Uh, uh, well, a, a sign graph is a balance if and only if uh, its a vert vertex set can be partitioned into uh, two sets. One of them can be uh, uh, empty. Uh, so the edge between uh, two sets are negative. The, uh, the sign of uh, uh, the nodes, the vertices in the set are positive. So, for example, the, uh, uh, this one, right, we know is a uh, balance, the sign graph. So, if uh, we can partition this one in the, say, x is uh, uh, v1, v2, because this is a positive, yeah. So, v3, v4 has to be uh, in the uh, to separate uh, sets because they have a negative sign. Right? So for this one, we can partition the uh, vertex set as uh, B1, B4, and B2, B3. Okay. So now if we uh, uh, look at the adjacency matrix of uh, a balanced sign graph. So we uh, <coughs> sign the a negative uh, uh, H as a one, uh, the two uh, vertices, right, connect with the negative sign, we'll put a one uh, at a A, say, uh, uh, 
IJ and uh, their negative influence in the negative sign for negative one. And uh, so this case, as you see, the diagonals, right, there is no guaranteed, uh, no connection. So you always have a, a zero. And so if no connection, then we put a zero uh, to it. I mean, this one is a, called a complete graph, actually. Uh, they all have a, a non-zero on the off diagonal elements. And then this is from uh, this graph that you, you saw earlier. So this is the JCC. Uh, so we are looking for um, other values and then they are corresponding eigenvectors of uh, uh, JCC matrices of uh, balance the sign graphs. Uh, now, as you see earlier, uh, uh, since we do not look at the uh, intuitive direction, so the matrix, the JCC matrix are symmetric. And we all know the eigenvalues of a symmetric matrix are real. It's all real. And also here, actually, you see the, uh, the sum of the eigenvalues uh, is the trace of uh, uh, A, the JCC matrix. This case is zero, because we have uh, uh, zero sum. It's a uh, we also know in linear algebra is uh, if uh, two matrices are similar, they have uh, uh, same eigenvalues. Uh, the reason is uh, the definition for uh, two matrices are similar if uh, there is this uh, non-singular uh, matrix. So one matrix can be uh, uh, written as uh, the inverse of that matrix times the other matrix and times the uh, other that non singular matrix X. Okay. So if we know the eigenvalues say uh, of uh, uh, eigenvalues of uh, M1 and then we know that M2 has the same eigenvalues and also we see the eigenvector uh, eigenvectors of uh, uh, M2 it's just uh, uh, the inverse of S times the eigenvector of uh, so uh, this actually is, uh, saves uh, the, the property for uh, two similar matrices. Uh, actually, it uh, help us a lot to find a, a, a group of uh, uh, the eigenvalues, eigenvectors of a group of JCC uh, uh, matrices of uh, balance and sign. Are we okay so far? It's a long name, balance and sign. All right, so uh, uh, here is the, uh, the JSON's images. So remember we said that the vertex set right, of a uh, uh, balance sum graph can be partitioned into two uh, <coughs> sets, X and Y. So the, the first one is, uh, uh, say, with all positive sign, right, this one. Right? So this means that the X is empty, say, all the, the Vertices is in uh, one set, in one set. Okay. And this case is also both of them are complete. Uh, that means every uh, two nodes has an uh, age. Uh, now these two uh, actually uh, matrices are similar uh, because uh, uh, if we multiply uh, the a diagonal matrix with a uh, uh, ones for one, two, three, and uh, the last two uh, diagonal elements are negative. That's its uh, S. Uh, so if we can find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix, then we know for that one two. Okay. So let's look at uh, the eigenvalues, and they are corresponding eigenvectors of this matrix. Actually, it's uh, pretty simple, but right? you see the, the results right away. That actually is how uh, I started this uh, uh, simple project. This uh, um, student, uh, many of you remember, is uh, uh, Josh Simon. He took a, a course with uh, Dr. Hur, the graph theory. And uh, uh, while he was working on project, his project, he made some observation. Uh, so he, he asked me, he said, um, you know, see, I made some observation that all, uh, let me 
you say this is uh, the uh, the eigenvalues of uh, uh, adjacency matrices of uh, balanced and uh, complete sign graph are same, which are you have a simple argon uh, value n minus one. Say this is a n by n, and then you have a minus one, minus one, uh, n minus one of that. So either the uh, only one vector uh, is x that set is empty or is not empty. You always have exactly the same one. Well, that's the reason because uh, uh, the similarity, right? Uh, to, to show this one is also very easy. You see the row sum is n minus 1, right? And they all have the same row sums. So also you see the argument vector will be a e sub uh, n. So as quickly you see the argument pair for this one is n minus 1 because the row sum is n minus 1. And then you have a e sub n. e sub n is uh, uh, you have a ones. That's how you get the row sum. Right? So it's a pretty easy to uh, uh, show uh, this one. Then you can use uh, the uh, the subspace, which is a uh, orthogonal to that one, which is the dimension is n minus one, right? And then you can show the other value at this one. Alright, so this is a pretty uh, uh, straightforward. The only thing you need to explain to uh, uh, him is that this one is uh, similar to that. Yeah, see, what I mean is that uh, uh, say for example, you remember the, uh, the matrix for the case when x is empty, right? And then say A2, a2 is uh, uh, A2 is uh, S2. Well, this matrix, the inverse is uh, uh, itself. So we just times this. So it's a similar. So very easy to show. Now I wish he, uh, he then he graduated. He left. Uh, otherwise, I will ask him to uh, continue this project to uh, for uh, a research project. Well, the, the question next, you know, naturally we will ask. What are, uh, the, uh, are the argon values and the argon vectors if uh, the graph is not complete? Right, the so far is what we have as a complete. Okay, so the. Uh, so, so I'm kind of curious about what happened if uh, uh, the graph uh, is a still is a balanced sign graph, but it's just not complete. Well, it's, a, it's a, the one way to think about if you have a, a complete graph, and then just throw away some uh, uh, edges, right? So that's you have an uncomplete uh, graph. So <coughs> I, I start out, well, when you throw away the edges, you can think of the edges between two nodes, both nodes, uh, say, in x, or uh, nodes, uh, one is in x, one is in y, right? have uh, two cases. So I, I start looking uh, uh, into that, uh, just as you know, some people want. Uh, so the corresponding uh, uh, adjacent adjacency matrix look like, a, uh, say here's the, uh, here's the one with a complete right, graph. So don't worry about the sign because we can always uh, use the uh, uh, permutation matrix to do that. Uh, Sorry, is uh, the uh, for the complete ones we can always use the similarity. Uh, for this one, say if we take uh, out, say just uh, 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 h between two nodes, both in x, that's uh, the uh, the adjacency matrix looks like. And this one is uh, the case. Say one uh, node is in x, another node is in. Y. Okay, 
so you see it kind of is uh, the zero here. So this is a, just a take up out to one H with two nodes in X, or take out to H with a one node in X, one node in uh, Y. Okay. So uh, the question is, uh, what are, are the argon values and uh, uh, their corresponding argon values? Of course, I'm a little bit surprised. Well, first I say, okay, I stay with the uh, complete graph. That's just the first one. Okay. Uh, and then I say I subtract. Okay. I say uh, uh, say T ages. So what is are the other values of this matrix? Well, let me uh, just uh, go back uh, a little bit. But this is a very natural way for us uh, to show a complete balance sum graph of the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of the JSONC matrix of a balanced and complete sum graph. Well, when I do this, I also specify the eigenvectors. I just choose uh, a set of uh, eigenvectors for this. The reason is that for later, I can use uh, a similar set of uh, eigenvectors here. Otherwise, just to prove this, you don't really need to specify the uh, set of uh, argon vectors. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so here's the, uh, the one I, I uh, as you see, e, e sub n is the argon vector for this, right? So now you look at the uh, subspace, which is uh, orthogonal to this one, and I choose uh, the c sub i as uh, uh, my argon vectors, okay? So as you see, quite a good, well structured. You have a one minus one, next is a one, zero, minus one, and so on, okay? So I'm going to use uh, uh, a similar uh, vectors uh, for uh, the argon value and argon vectors of uh, um, balanced, but not complete sign graphs, okay? So, <coughs> Here, look up very messy, right? But what is happening happen is, uh, uh, remember before you have a one, right? Uh, N minus one, okay? Then you have a, a subspace with dimension N minus one. Now, uh, this one is uh, N minus one actually breaking into two. Then now a pair of uh, uh, a solution of a quadratic equation. We'll go back to the previous one, as you see. And then, uh, before we have a Z, right, then the Z will break it into two. Uh, one is that we have a T minus one. T is the number of ages we threw away, right? So uh, here, you have N minus one. But T minus one of them becomes a zero after that. And we still, the left is still minus one. And this one becomes two, so total is still n of them. Okay, so here, as you see, uh, uh, the vector so z is still there, which it, uh, has a this property. And then we also have another set, which is uh, uh, perpendicular. So you have like two subs subspaces in the uh, subs uh, uh, subspace uh, with the dimension n minus. Uh, Two now, okay. Uh, they have uh, these uh, uh, these properties. So these are the argon values, and the lambda. Let me uh, go back to the previous one. Lambda up here is. Uh, uh, let me see where the lambda is. Uh, I think put it down here. Oh, here's the lambda. Then that is a t. T is the number of uh, uh, ages, right? We throw away. And times, uh, uh, here's the lambda. Lambda 1 and then lambda 2. And over the at uh, a's are the solution of this uh, quadratic equation. 
so we can solve the algebraic thing uh, for the on eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Uh, <coughs> so here's just an example so for the case uh, when n is uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. And here are the uh, t's. So uh, it's, it's a little bit of a surprise to me when I was working on this uh, problem, it has such a nice uh, uh, structure. Okay. And then this is a really uh, very helpful. Remember the, the Z1 uh, uh, tubes is uh, the minus one, the rest of the zero, right? And uh, the Z is here actually for between, we have a T minus one zeros. It's still the same structure. You have a, uh, like a one, and you have a, a zeros. And Structure, well, that structure is usually difficult to find exactly the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, but in this case, uh, we are very lucky. Um, two, two, eight. Okay. okay, so the, uh, this pretty much is the idea. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. This is uh, you take the T ages from uh, the set uh, of the nodes uh, in x only or between uh, two. Okay, just the structure change a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, this is a, it's a still same uh, uh, format, just with the, uh, you have a, uh, the ones, uh, uh, let me show you. Say if you have a, a t, uh, no, a uh, th is right. Some nodes it is say k nodes, a uh, uh, k h is uh, with the nodes in x, and uh, t minus k uh, uh, nodes in the uh, the rest of the nodes to say is in y, and then the structure. If you look at the uh, same same type of uh, structure for c, so you still just have a one minus one. But you just fill the zeros uh, between them. Okay. Uh, I'm sure you don't want to see this. So let's see the uh, equations. And then we look at, because the structure, right? So we look at the next type of uh, uh, graphs with the, uh, uh, you can partition uh, the vertex set into two. So a uh, part type so graph is the natural one we choose because that one is you have a two sets, right? Then there is no H uh, among the, uh, the nodes in uh, X and Y, only the H is uh, uh, within two sets, okay? So the uh, adjacency matrix has, a, again, very nice uh, uh, structure. This one is, uh, again, is complete in the sense uh, in the, within the set is uh, up, across the sets that each one, each uh, node has a, uh, uh, every pair uh, nodes have a, a, a H. Okay. Uh, so we know if this is known, uh, the eigenvalue and eigenvectors of uh, the matrix uh, uh, with the block structure. Say if you have a, a zero E, uh, e, uh, I use transpose here, okay? Right, so the other values of uh, uh, this matrix, uh, if lambda, even only if lambda square is an uh, other value of uh, E transpose E. Okay? So you can always uh, calculate the uh, <coughs> other values easily. So now let's look at the case so when E is uh, uh, balanced. Uh, well, it is the adjacency matrix of the balance of the sign graph. And it is a complete. So, this case is uh, uh, similar. You have uh, uh, two uh, 
eigenvalues, they are not zero, and the rest of the stuff all zero. So it's, a, it's a pretty uh, nice to uh, have a different result. And then I say, OK, let me see what happens if uh, it's not, not complete. That means, uh, uh, that means we will have uh, uh, zeros. We will have zeros here, right here. Not always easy, actually. The structure seems to complete destroy. For certain uh, problems, so we can calculate the eigenvalues exactly, but we cannot derive at this point the general form for the eigenvalues uh, uh, if uh, uh, the E is uh, here, or if the graph is not complete. I think I just uh, uh, let me stop here. Uh, we are also looking to uh, the use of. Generalization of uh, linear space, but dependence and independence doesn't matter, just uh, and linear dependence and linear independence doesn't matter, only matter uh, dependence and independence. Okay, from that graph, you can construct a metro. And what I have in mind, depending on the vertices and edges, you have uh, when you have the representation. You have something like a Z1 and Z2, the set. Right. My comment is you try to have some experiments with Metroids and see what happens with the ranking values and that vectors. These are still, you know, um, linearly independent. They are a problem too. Only is, uh, you're saying, you're talking about it could be uh, linearly dependent. Uh, no, I was talking about it's a metro. But my view is, have you do something with the graph, convert that one into metro, and then that metro convert that again into uh, linear representable metro? Okay. You can see something like that. Okay. So and check what I have that from a different uh, uh, point of view. Point of view. to start, just like a biased uh, uh, graph, uh, Professor Royce uh, sent me an email after he read the abstract saying, have you looked into the uh, biased uh, graphs? What is the so I was uh, reading the literature and so on. Okay, I will take a look. Um, any other questions? Okay, let's see. Uh, Mark, you can